What's up, Cancer? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at August energies when it comes to love, romance, and relationships 2024. My fellow crabs, I hope all is well. I'm using the Victorian, uh, yeah, Victorian <laughs> Romantic Tarot <laughs> to deliver your messages. Uh, this is the only deck that I'm going to be using. I wanted to uh, put up a reading uh, energies uh, real quick. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, be using any other cards here. I just want to simplify the uh, reading here. I'm just going to cleanse the energies from Dawn Gemini's messages, and we shall begin with Cancer's messages. So what are the energies here for Cancer uh, in the month of August 2024 when it comes to romance? This is for Cancer, suns, moons, rising, Venus signs, singles, and coupled crabs out there as well. All right, what is coming up for my fellow Cancers? romantically in August 24, including myself. Hope you guys had a fantastic birthday. Here we go. Oh, let me let me cut them first, Cancer. I hope it's not a cut that I'm going to end up regretting. No, nope. Seven of Pentacles we're going to start off with, and that just simply means for those single uh, Cancers out there, if you are looking to partner up or date, there are people available, okay? You just have to put your energy out there. There are people out there for you to meet. All right, on top of that Seven of Pentacles, now we have the Five of Pentacles. So with the Five of Pentacles landing, landing on the Seven of Pentacles, um, this Five of Pentacles normally is my ghosting card. So it could be that you meet somebody, they ain't your flavor or whatever, and you could just ghost them just to uh, possibly avoid having to communicate with them further. Hopefully, you know, it's not the case, but this is my ghosting card. Either you're being ghosted or someone ghosting you, uh, giving the cold shoulder treatment, feeling like you're left out. All right. Stubborn energy, all of that is temporary. If it's the type of energy that expresses itself at all, following the five of pentacles here. Now we have the justice card. So justice is on our side, uh, cancer in the month of August, someone could be getting married in front of the justice of the peace. Some of you may be interested dating or in relationships with a Leo Aries or Sagittarius. She holds the scale. So, you know, things are balanced out for us. The doves at the base of her uh, feet is just representing how peaceful our energy is. Um, or will be, you know, hopefully in the month of August, engaging in these relationships with other people. So feeling, you know, uh, liberated, feeling, you know, freedom, feeling that peace and all of that good stuff. Justice being on our side. Then we have, oh, now we got the devil. Okay, so there's some things that we need to discuss, Cancer. What, what, what are we doing? That we're repeating, we're, you know, recycling shit, you know, I talked about FWBs, friends with benefits, the sex is great, it keeps going back, that's why you keep going back, because the sex is good, but it prevents you from forming healthy relationships with others, okay, so be careful of this trap, that's the trap of the devil, <coughs> But we also have to talk about our own personal bad habits that might be uh, affecting how we navigate through relationships and dealing with toxic people, toxic relationships. Breaking the chains and the bonds are something that is restricting us. I talk about um, addictions. It may not be yours, a cancer. It may be the person that you're in a, you know, involved in a relationship with. Excessive weed smoking, drinking, gambling could be sex, pornography. You know, the devil is responsible for unrequited love. Right? The devil lures you in keeps having you to come back but there is something that we need to stop doing um because it's also that you know the repetitive yeah repetitive energy rinse and repeat type of energy that's the devil okay devil is 
placing characters in front of us, showing us who they are, and we're still not believing them. On top of that, devil, now we have the Ten of Cups. <laughs> well, isn't this the kick in the ass? Ten of Cups is the relationship card, right? So there you go. So the Ten of Cups here could represent, you know, someone getting married in the month of August, right? It's an even number of cups. So, you know, what you give cancer is what you're going to give back. Celebrations, you know, um, it could be with family. It could be with friends, but I'm not trying to incorporate anything, just staying focused on the relationships here. And now because it lands, uh, first and foremost, let me say this though, whenever you get the Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, it is always the achievement of emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, and contentment based on those relationships. The message that I'm going to say about this devil is that this is the, you know, for some of you, not all of you you may be having an issue with, okay, that you're addicted to. Uh, may feel like you're addicted to uh, some person, maybe ruminating about someone you want to be in a relationship with, but they may be unavailable, okay? Or you may be unavailable, but you're still thinking about them. Something, you know, these are just... Uh, messages that I'm giving you. It could be anything that you can interpret for yourself and um, contrast with the devil. Just remember that this is the relationship, okay? Now take the relationship and add that energy to the devil. FWBs. The sex is great, but it's not healthy, and so forth. All right, but whatever the energy may mean for you, let's move on. Then we have the Ace of Swords, so there's some sort of determination, there's some sort of clarity that you want to gain involving a situation person, well, involving a person or a situation. It could be involving an event, but I'm just going to limit it to a situation or a person. So you want to be sure, you want to be clear. This is a card of gaining clarity here, right? And it may be, you know, gaining clarity cancer for the very first time because the Ace of Swords always start things off for the first time. However, this is also to the type of energy where you're looking for excitement or adventure to occur within a relationship. Bring that energy into your life. Great deal of determination. The victory and success can be placed and attached to relationships seeing yourself as being victorious all right successful then we have the knight of swords just like the ace of swords there is something that we're about to do here cancer all right so now for some of you it may be related to your recent past i always talk about how the knights in most decks are faced in the past direction here but whatever that energy may mean for you but just like the Ace of Swords is communicating, clearing up confusion, doubts, uncertainties, fears re rel relative to a situation or a person. Now you're taking action here. Then we have the Two of Wands. It's what, who we're waiting for. Who are we waiting for, Cancer, to arrive? This is my timing card. Whoever it is that you're waiting for, they may show up in two days or two week period of time, right? In a relationship, some of you may be experiencing some sort of elements of slowness or stagnation or it's not moving in the direction that you want or fast enough in terms of what you want. Now, we should happen to get any of the movement cards here it will negate the two of wands and whatever, whoever we're waiting for will uh, come much sooner. All right, following the two of wands here, Cancer, now we have the Emperor. So at least you'll be in control in the month when it comes to your, uh, your emotions, your control, not into manipulating because, you know, you do have that devil there. The devil can be, a, uh, excuse me, a devil. The devil can be a manipulator as well. I tried to say too many words at once. 
but you'll be in control. You'll have the aspect of the uh, emperor to help you maintain a sense of uh, self-control, which is great. Which is great. And you also have justice here, too. Justice being served and on your side. On top of that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is balanced energies. I said, and I don't know, was it the, I think it was the Aquarius reading that I did. And the Eight of Pentacles was the very first card that came out. And I said that this is a card that always represents, uh, it could mean that there are cancers who are in uh, partnerships right now. And you can see this as your relationship being stable. Okay, it's an even number of pentacles. She's sitting up, uh, well, she's not sitting, she's leaning up against the wall watching this husband, concubine, lover, boyfriend, whoever he is doing pottery work. She's content, okay? She's very content. There's no outside interferences, no disturbances. They're just enjoying the moment. For others, for the single cancer specifically, there's eight of pentacles to me means like the Seven of Pentacles, there are options for you if you are single and want to get back into the dating scene. Okay? You have to put your energy out there. Then we have the Five of uh, Wands here. Um, being careful not to get into any uh, petty fights or arguments with your, you know, your partner, the person that you're dating. It's not worth your time or energy, as I always say, because it's what's going on with them. Ain't got shit to do with you. Now, it may not be that. It could be that, you know, we just go through a moment or a period of uh, restlessness during the month of August connected to these relationships. Hence, we do have the devil here, right? That too shall pass. Following that, we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, there's an ending. Something's ending cancer. Something new is about to begin. Simply put. On top of the Ten of Swords... Oh, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups simply means that, like the Seven of Pentacles, as well as the Eight of Pentacles, options opening up, being available to you. But also, there is a greater, I always talk about a greater dedication in terms of energy. Either you're pouring that energy out to who you're dating or in a committed relationship with, or that energy may be coming towards you. Devotion. I also talked about debauchery. Notice that debauchery, the Seven of Cups is sitting underneath the devil. And I just I had that same scenario. I think, in the, you know, when I do these videos, I don't remember what sign that I, you know, I just remember, but I don't remember the Zodiac sign that I read for. Because most of the times, once these readings are done, I put that energy out there. It's vacated from my mind, my brain. But I do recall... That the Seven of Cups, and I talked about debauchery, is friends with benefits. Debauchery means, you know, just sleeping around. Basically, right? But I rarely talk about that, but I'm making the connection because it sits underneath the devil. And some people are okay with that. I mean, but if you want a committed relationship, then... You know, sleeping around is not an option. Friends with benefits is not an option, really. Okay, that's, you know, the sex is great. That's why the devil keeps bringing you back. The sex may be sp splendid, the best sex you ever had, but it's not allowing you to break that cycle and form healthier relationships. Then we have the Queen of Cups, our own energy, uh, energy shows up here, Cancer, Mother of All Love, Nurturing, Caring, Supportive. Again, um, an achievement here of emotional happiness, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment. We already have that energy here with the Ten of Cups, right? Pay attention to your intuition. She's here to help guide you to make the right choices and decisions moving forward. Remember, you have the Ace of Swords, the Knight of Swords. She can unite new romantic partnerships together. All right, to finish us off, Cancer, we finish off with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is uh, it's like the 
fifth or sixth time has shown up for the signs here. Now, I do recall that because I've, I'm saying the same thing as each time it shows up here. And so five of swords is dealing with internal or external energies, cancer, right? You have to decide and sort something out. But I always say there's three characters here on this card that is in this deck that I always say reminds me of the Three of Swords uh, type of energy, but it is not the Three of Swords. Hence, you could be the Cancer that's in a partnership already, committed partnership. And then here's this person on the outskirts who may be trying to meddle or interfere with your relationships. Remember, I always say that the Five of Swords is be careful of people playing head games or mind games with you. Right. And since this is a reading about you, Cancer, and what's potential to come, it's not, um, what was I going to say? It's not, what did I say in the other video? Always get both sides of the story, like what I'm ex ex you know, expressing, explain here to you. This is you in a committed relationship, but this could be you, okay, trying to interfere with someone else who is already in a committed uh, relationship, right? Meddling and mingling and all that other stuff, right? But this is your reading. So what's potential, what's potentially to come to you? So, but anyway, the other thing that I wanted to say is if you are the cancer that's in a committed relationship, then they're envious of what you may have. Remember, I always talk about the five of swords and, you know, you have to be careful of someone being, someone or some, you know, persons being envious of what you have. So that could be, you know, what I'm reading there. All right, let's get off of that. We're going to toss another card on that five of swords and close up this reading for you, Cancer. Oh, we got the nine of swords. Okay, okay, okay. We got the nine of swords. We got the nine of swords. Okay, this is always stepping out there on that ledge, feeling like you're afraid of something. But you can also look at the five of swords as the reduction, excuse me, of the nine of swords. You can look at the ace of swords as a further, you know, reduction of the nine of swords. Nine of swords is a very painful card to receive. I ain't going to tell no lie. Just like, you know, the three of swords. But again, it's not going to be the type of energy where all the cancers that I'm reading for and come along and see this video is for them. No, it's something going on here. They only show up for someone specific. So feeling like you're out on a ledge. Um, it may have some sort of significance with the two of wands since we did not get a movement card. So feeling like you're worried, overly worried, overly thinking about this person that you're waiting for who has yet to show up. Uh, feeling like you've been betrayed, cheated on, all that nasty stuff. Okay. Seeking always some sort of relief. Could be dealing with uh, psychological, mental, physical abuse, unresolved, external, internal, from your recent distant past. All that falls underneath the Nine of Swords. Now, however, if the Nine of Swords expresses itself for someone, then, you know, by all means, try to work on those energies as much as you possibly can. OK, because then that leaving that stuff linger leads you to possibly seeking or reaching out for relief. This is a card of seeking relief, like through drinking, maybe weed smoking or whatever it is that's going to help you make it through the day or the night. All right. So this is what I have for us, Cancer. Um, it's my interpretation of what I feel has the potential of opening up for us in the month of August. You know, only take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone, right? Please like the video. Um, share the video if you can. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, Cancer, please have a safe, great month ahead. Always come back to get more of these messages from me. And Cancer, I will talk to you soon. Bye.